Mighty Thursday. It is Mighty Thursday. I just um, recorded, started recording using a bandy cam, and then it just crashed right in the middle of it. So I'm going to have to start again. So it may sound like I'm rushing or skipping over things, but uh, sometimes technology works for a good second, and the next second it just decides not to work anymore for what reason i don't know but anyways i want to wish everyone a mighty thor's day this is uh for asgard a channel where we will be or i will be discussing and talking about the mighty thor based on news opinions etc etc uh, i've been on youtube since well for over this channel though been using it since 2006 i've done a lot of other things prior um those are all private now and i was kind of debating do i do like political videos religious videos just talk about my opinion things movie reviews i was kind of debating but at the end of the day i don't want to regurgitate all the the same things that is all over the internet all over youtube um i don't want to i don't want to be ranting again about the same thing over and over it is uh it is nearly 2022 and by now, people should know how to find information by now. And I think this, the ranting, the, the era of ranting is, is now over. Um, I've been on YouTube since 2006. I've heard many rants over the years. Great rants, uh, okay rants, exciting rants, inform uh, inf uh, inf info-based rants. And I loved it. I, I very much respect it. I, I, I mean... It has helped me become who I am today, but after a while, it's like, it's after you know something, it's like, you don't want to keep hearing the same thing over and over again. But anyways, this channel is going to be mainly about Thor, the mighty Thor, Asgard, or Thor um, characters. I may once in a while put out my opinion on something in the, in the, in the world, but we'll see about that. But anyways... Who is Thor? Who is the mighty Thor? And it says the son of Odin uses the mighty his mighty abilities as the god of thunder to pro to protect his home Asgard and the and planet Earth alike. And I've said this before, Thor is one of the greatest superheroes or is the greatest superhero of all time because he not only protects his own planet, he protects Earth, the nine realms the other galaxies, the universe, other even other timelines, Thor does it all. Like Thor is a universal superhero. There there you cannot find another hero, superhero that has that has more responsibilities that has more of a, a journey experience than Thor. And and his years say something. I mean, he has the advantage with the years, but this is a guy that does it all he's everywhere he he's everywhere he fights nearly every villain from any other superhero this guy is a, a universal superhero and his stats say his dur durability is six seven is the highest six energy is six i say that should be seven fighting skills should be should be seven this is a guy that has been training for over a thousand years um four is way too low in my opinion intelligence um for over a thousand years thor has seen it all all over the universe all over the universe i know he's not no starker banner who knows the laboratory but again but thor knows the universe he knows asgard the nine realms he's a wise uh superhero so two is very very low speed you know this you know it's very debatable on thor's speed he doesn't show it much but I'll, um, but I'll keep it at that. And strength seven, I won't, uh, I won't argue with that. So who is the mighty Thor? And it says Thor is born to the king of the Asgardian gods, Odin Borsun, and the earth goddess Gia, who grew up in Asgard under Odin's tutelage and trained in his footsteps to one day lead Asgard. Besides Odin, his stepmother Frigga and his adopted brother Loki are the only family he know alongside his best friends Sif, Baldur, and the Warriors, Warriors 3. Uh, first off, Thor has a lot more brothers than this. 
a lot more. And um, about his uh, mother, again, depending on the version you read, either the comics, any other comic, TV show, or movie, his mother is always changing. One day it's Gia, next day it's Friga, next day it's someone else. Uh, but when you look in the Marvel Universe, or Marvel Universe, it's a lot of superheroes either don't have mothers or don't have mothers alive or they or they don't even speak of their mother. So it's it, and a lot of them really only have a relationship with their dad. You can name nearly a thousand superheroes. You can name their dad, but but you can barely name the mother. I mean as a main character, a mother that is a main character. It, you it can barely be done. Um yeah, and speaking of parents, even uh, recently, Thor is the child of Odin and the Phoenix Force. So now all of a sudden, um, Thor is now the child of Odin and the Phoenix Force. So again, it's always changing. Always changing depending on the comic or the story or the situation or the timeline. It's always changing. But that it is what it is. Um, again, Thor, in Thor's origin, in Thor's origin, um, he was sent from Asgard to learn humility. He came down as an, as a human in whom human form without his powers. He saw his hammer in a cave. He picked it up and he became Thor. Anytime the hammer left his hands for, uh, for a while, he would, he would return back to Donald Blake, a fragile, a uh, disabled man with a walking cane. Whenever he slammed the cane to the ground, he become the mighty Thor. Um, enemies of the, of the god. I mean, there there is so much. There there is so much. Um, allies and friends. Again, Thor is a founding member of the Avengers, and if you take away Thor away from the Avengers. I mean, they're at a disadvantage. But when you add Thor to the Avenged, to the Avengers, you get a, a great disadvantage. Because the Avengers, they fight Earth Earth villains. They fight, uh, you know, cosmic villains. And without Thor, the Avengers would get roasted. But every, every time, right time you add Thor into it, it's either the Avengers are at the advantage or the Avengers are even. So Thor is basically, is, is the Avenger, is... It's like is the Adven uh, Avengers is the Avengers, um, and and I'm not, again I'm not downplaying any other Aven Avenger, but you put you take away Thor and you put the originals Hulk, Iron Man, even Cap, Wasp, and Ant Man, and you put these um, six together against anyone else. Depending on the situation, the the Avengers are going to probably lose. But once you add Thor to the mix, it's a different story. Um, again, there are many versions of, of the God of Thunder. I'm not going to talk too much about that. But there's a lot of versions. A lot of people who've held the hammer, who've called themselves Thor. Um, and speaking of the, the Marvel Universe, I think... Or, or the Avengers. Thor is like the soul of the Avengers. Thor is like gives life to the Avengers. Without Thor, the Avengers are what? And when it comes to the Marvel Universe, Thor is like the root. The 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 root of the Marvel Universe because he connects to nearly every other villain, every other place and the other character either from earth or from a different planet thor is all over the place like thor knows everyone thor is connected to nearly everyone thor is even connected to the punisher someone that is like totally opposite thor, thor is like the root of the avengers of the, of the marvel universe because anything you do, it, it somehow it links back to Thor or even the Asgardians or Odin. Thor is 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 the the root of the Marvel universe. Because when you um 
watching like time when you look at roots of a plant it, it's the one of the most important things because roots are either big they're thick they're strong they're sturdy they connect at various places they're the ones that provide you no know, food to the plant so the root Thor is very, 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 very important to the Marvel universe. Even you, you can even say even the superhero universe. But in terms of Marvel universe, Thor is again is the root of the um, Marvel universe. And again, um, the Marvel Thor is based on the Norse mythology Thor. Uh, where they may have or may not have uh, worshipped um, this Thor, Odin, etc. as deities. Um, so, during my atheist days, when I was an atheist, you know, trying to figure things out in this world, I was on Yahoo Answers back in those days. Yahoo Answers, religion, spirituality section was, it was crazy. It was funny, it was crazy. It was aggressive, you know, I, I loved it. And as I'm there, everyone's always mentioning Thor. This was before I even knew Thor. This was before I, I even knew about Marvel. I didn't even know about Marvel. I didn't even know about DC. I may have known about the Supermans, the Wolverines, the Spider-Mans, but I didn't really know them as much as I know them now. But I'm on, um, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do another part. I'll come back for part two.